The dramatic rescue in the waters off Louisiana. Three people shipwrecked and fighting off sharks while waiting for the Coast Guard. We're hearing from two of those survivors this morning. And our Victor Okendo joins us with that. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Michael. These men saying that they had about two minutes to react once their boat started taking on water. And from there, it was a fight for survival. They spent more than 24 hours stranded at sea along the way, fending off a shark attack. And this morning, they're sharing their story. This morning, the miracle survival at sea. You're watching a Coast Guard helicopter flying above three stranded fishermen, rescuing them after their boat sank and they fended off a shark attack. You always believe that this couldn't happen to you. You, you know what I mean? You hear it happen, you're like, this will never happen to me, and then it did. One fisherman being plucked from the water in that basket, the others hoisted onto a boat, one of them appearing to embrace one of their rescuers. It happened about 25 miles off the Louisiana coast. The men set out for a fishing trip Saturday morning. Their boat started taking on water. We made a distress call on the VHF radio to uh, the Coast Guard and let them know that we take it on water. We take it on water vessel sinking. And not even seconds after that, the boat was nearly halfway underwater. They quickly tied these two ice chests together, creating a makeshift raft. That was critical in us uh, surviving, tying the ice chests together. Um, happened to be that one of the ice chests actually had uh, waters and fruit in there. So that, you know, that hydrated us. 28 harrowing hours stranded at sea, desperately trying to flag down shrimping boats and oil rigs with no luck. Then their situation took an even more dangerous turn when sharks attacked. That's when the shark bit the life vest in front of me. It bit the life vest and it, it didn't touch me. It bit the vest and boom, it hit it. And I pushed him in the face. And I think that's where I caught these finger, I mean, these injuries on my hand. Uh, I don't want to really remember, but uh, I pushed him in the face and then he wouldn't leave. So I took my two thumbs and jabbed him in the eyes and uh, he took off. They survived the sharks, but were still stranded. Fung says he swam for more than five miles to get help, somehow keeping his phone with him, finally getting a signal. I sent uh, my um, location to, to my friend and it was only 2% left. The minute I sent it, I see him trying to reply to me and the phone cut off. I ran out of battery. And within two hours, they heard the sounds of that Coast Guard helicopter. By the time they were rescued Sunday night, all three had hypothermia and two were bitten by sharks, yet they all survived and they're in no rush to get back on the water. I'm gonna go offshore, I'm gonna be well more prepared at least if I were to go offshore anytime soon or in the, in the near future. Right now it's not in the cards and I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about recovery at the moment, you know? And after the rescue, all three were transported to the hospital. The Coast Guard saying that without those life jackets or that last distress call to a friend, we could be looking at a much different outcome here. Guys, you really can't blame them if they're in no rush to get back out on the water. Can't blame them at all, Victor. That. Okay, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.